Okay, so here we go. Um, we are going to go ahead and start doing this quick tutorial. So, word about the tutorial real quick. Um, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a submaster. Uh, this is really useful, especially when working with churches, um, because people don't need to have the access to jump in necessarily to all the individual plugin functions. Instead, they can ride a volume level that will make sure that you get the max volume that you need without having to deal with teaching them the individual parameters of the master slider, which can be very problematic. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a way to bounce lead vocals and background vocals back and forth between the lead bus and the BGVs. So that way the people who are running your live stream can get in really quick and easy and swap them between lead and background vocals. So without any further ado, let's jump in. First thing we're going to do uh, is create a bus uh, in Logic that's very simple. Basically, you just go in to any output and we're going to any, sorry, any channel with stereo out selected. We're going to create a new bus that doesn't have anything to it. Now, as you name each bus that you create, and we'll have done this earlier, uh, it automatically pops up with the name. So you literally, all you have to do is grab the first one that doesn't have a name. So that will be bus 11. And we're going to change this from bus 11 to sub master. Um, the reason we do this and we're going to change the color is so that way everybody, of course, can realize which one it is that we are working with. One. Um, and two, this will be the main volume level that they're going to, that your volunteers will adjust to get the proper output which is, you know, 0 dB over here. Now, that 0 dB is limited by this plugin. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do after that is go to the threshold and drop it way down. We're going to give ourselves a bunch more headroom for this other thing, which would seem like you're saying less headroom, but what we're going to also do is drop this down the same amount, roughly, that we dropped this down. So before, this was at about, you know, 4 or 5 decibels below zero, we're going to make this like minus 10 or minus 11, and then we're going to drop this to minus five or so. The reason we're going to do that is so this doesn't have to be sitting as high to get all the volume in here we need. And then as we're playing uh, through the service, if the volume seems a little low, all they have to do is push this instead of pushing everything else. Now we're going to continue to set up the rest of the uh, channels too run through the submaster instead of go directly to the stereo bus. And this is a fairly simple process. You simply go to every channel that has stereo output selected, minus the submaster. You want to leave the, the submaster going to stereo out. And then you're going to hold down the command key, and you're going to select every channel that has stereo out selected. Now I'm using a laptop, so instead of having to scroll with a mouse, I can uh, just put, you know, two fingers down and scroll over. So that's why I'm able to move like this. If you have a magic mouse, you can do the same thing using the top of the mouse. Um, otherwise, you'll have to you know, maybe do this in two or three segments. But regardless, it's a very simple process. Um, everything, like I said, stereo bus. Now we're not going to include. Uh, we'll take the click guide out of that altogether in just a second, and I'll show you how to do that. So now we're going to hit stereo out and go to bus and then select the submaster instead. All those channels should now change to bus 11 instead of stereo out. Now click guide, I don't ever want this coming through anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit no output on that one. So that means that no matter what you do, if you unmute it or whatever, click and guide, that will never go anywhere. Okay, so that's part one. So we've now set all the channels. If you do a really quick scan, uh, we don't have to worry about any other uh, there should be none of these that say ST out. And that's the quick scan that I'm doing. All right, next thing we're going to do is if you look over here, we have BGVs as a group, and then we have main vox as a group. See how much louder main vox is than BGVs. Um, that's so that way we can boost a volume level very simply and easily just by simply swapping which group something's coming out of. Now, uh, when I set up this template, the male lead vocal here, which is now going to be changed to Vox 4, was the lead singer for the entire event. We're going to go ahead and switch this and make this a BGV. And what we're doing here is we're creating a way that everyone 
uh, that's running your template can literally just hit one button and make somebody a lead singer. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all channels that are vocals, go to bus send creation, and we're going to send this bus to your main vocal, your main vox bus or group. I don't know what a vocal is. Um, go ahead and hit main vox. We're going to bring all these up to zero dB, which all that means is that it's a direct pass through. It's not adding, it's not subtracting any volume, it's just letting whatever comes to it go straight through. Now, this is the perfect way to do it, and in a perfect world, we would sit here and per voice, we would adjust this volume to make it perfect. Unfortunately, our volunteers are not going to know how to do this. They're not going to know how to go in here and adjust this volume and bring it back up and down. What they're going to do is they're going to reach for these faders. Um, so there's something else that we have to do to make sure that the faders stay in the mix when we send this to bus 10. So you'll go in here where it says bus 10, and you're going to set post fader. That means, first of all, these will turn blue to let you know that's correct. Now it's post fader. That means these are being used. Um, and what I mean by being used is this. 0 dB is what's called unity gain, which in other words, whatever gain is coming in, it will not change it. It won't add and it won't subtract. The reason that when you go up a little bit, it goes plus, and then minus, it goes down, is because it's exactly that. If you go plus one, it's actually adding a decibel of volume. If you go minus one, it's subtracting a decibel of volume. So what we're going to do by going, or what we have done by going post fader, um, is in essence, we have brought these into the equation. So now even though this says zero dB, um, it's going to actually use this volume on the fader, so it's this positive one decibel. So that means that this volume is zero plus one decibel that's going to this group. This volume is zero minus 2.9 decibels going to the group. And so in essence, what it does is if you have this on, you can still use the fader and it'll adjust the volume. If you had it, if you had sent to post pan instead of post fader, then it would not have done anything. We want it to be on post fader, so that way if a volunteer is grabbing this and they go, oh, that's too loud, they can do this and it will adjust the volume going out. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shut all of these off, which means during normal services, um, these will all be background vocals. Now, when somebody goes to sing a volo, a, 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 volo, a, a, a solo, you could just go ahead and click any of these and that will then become that send will send the volume at 0 dB, plus or minus this, to the main bus, which will automatically, as you can see here, give you quite a volume jump. Um, so all they literally have to do, your volunteers, is before the solo, they tap that on, and if somebody else has a solo on for the previous song, they just tap them off, and then as soon as, now that's immediate, So, uh, but as soon as that happens, then you will now have a solo volume and then a not-so volume the other one will go down, this one will go up, the other one should go in mix, if these are mixed properly. Um, and then this should bounce up to a volume that is good for solos, and they should be able to be heard instantly. Now, I will caution you that if this change is too great, um, you might have other hisses and noise, or you might have the volume go too loud. Um, you can trim how much the difference is. You can actually bring this down if you want to, and it'll actually decrease what's being sent. If you notice that it's too much for all of your channels, then you would just bring down your main volume. If you notice it's only one channel that when you hit this button makes too big of a change, you can bring that down here. Uh, if you have any other questions about this, please let me know. And if you would like me to post another video like this, um, send it in the comments so that way I can uh, give you some other options and some other tricks and tips uh, for things that I do for churches to help them out with situations uh, in live stream.